Hey everybody, I just wanted to take a real quick second to say welcome to all of our new subscribers and thank you to Got Love for the amazing shout out that you guys gave us in your last vlog. That was so cool of you guys to do. I also kind of wanted to let you know that our vlogs aren't going to be what they normally are because Corey just had double jaw surgery. So if you could just bear with us, the next couple of weeks are gonna be more about his recovery and the process of all of that. Once he starts feeling better, we're gonna get back to our regular vlogs and our regular selves. Just hang tight, we love you. With all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's vlog. Day number two. He's enjoying a little breakfast. He's drinking an Ensure Clear. These things are pretty cool. It's like fruit juice, but it has like 200 calories. He says that it's really strong though, so he's been watering it down. It smells strong, like I can smell how sugary and fruity it is. You're a stud. Shot now Corey is drinking, eating this Boost Plus, very vanilla, and he says it's actually really good. This has 360 calories in one serving, which is awesome because that's what we need. swell really bad and they said that it's gonna peak at 72 hours which is like tomorrow so they said to put ice on it so I'm gonna pick up a couple of bags of frozen corn these guys right here these are gonna come in handy big time because they're small we can put them on each side of his jaw when it thaws out, it's not gonna leave a big pool of water and we can put it back in the freezer and refreeze it as many times as we need. I just went and picked Corey up, we brought him home, and this, right here, it's like the size of my torso. This is his medication. Check this out. This is all his medicine. You have a message. This is gonna be our our way of communicating for a while. We tried to do sign language, but it doesn't really, I can't always get it, because it's not like universal sign language. <laughs> it's about six o'clock in the evening, and Corey's been home for a little while. It's really nice outside, so I figured I would take everybody for a walk and take them to the park just up the road so that they can burn off a little bit of energy and so Corey can get like some solid rest. What do you think of the park? Huh? He's a good boy. You're a good man. I love this toy. I love this toy. Look at him, he's just good running. Puppy loves. It is day three of post-op for Corey and we're at the hospital. We're going to see his doctor. He's having a hard time with his pain medication. It's making him feel really nauseous. They gave him medicine for his nausea, but 
it's not working and because he's feeling so nauseous he's not wanting to take his pain medication and because he's not taking his pain medications he's not feeling very good so we called and to see if maybe they could give us something else for nausea and his doctor is awesome and he said come on in let me see him and we'll figure out the plan of action so here we go <laughs> the hospital again we are getting some not we he's getting some fluids and his IV and they gave him some steroids to help with the nausea the liquid pain medication that they gave him is flavored not that he can taste it but it's flavored so we're wondering if the flavoring or the dye is what maybe is making his stomach hurt so they called in more prescriptions I'm just the drug dealer I am in the process of trying to talk Corey into possibly taking a shower, but he said he doesn't know if he feels well enough to stand up while he takes a shower, so my solution was to go get yeah, so he could sit down. That's right, to go get a lawn chair. He could sit in my in his chair. That's right. I know it's important to get the medicine in his system, although this time I'm going to try a different approach to help with his stomach problems. Show you guys what his lunch is going to look like. Motrin, Tylenol in there, or oxycodone I'm gonna break in half and mix in there, liquid anti-nausea medicine. This time I'm gonna try and mix it into some yogurt so that he actually has like a little bit of substance on his stomach. And I'm gonna mix it with this coconut water so I can water it down. medicine and everything is working for Corey. I mean, it looks like it. I just went and checked on him and he is completely out. Doesn't even look like he's moved since I left him. So that's good. Hopefully tomorrow is a better day for everybody. Day four, post-op. And my children are trying to kill me of sleep deprivation. I got up last night with Corey to help him take his medicine and get him situated and the kids went to bed kind of late last night and this morning they decided to wake up at 6 30 because they don't like me anymore i guess i don't know so i woke cory up i'm gonna try and get him to eat something um so we can get some medication in him so he can be comfortable he's still complaining of nausea it's something that just isn't going away for him if I could just keep him sleeping, I think that's probably the best thing because he could just sleep through all of this. All right, so we're gonna get Corey some baby food. I think chicken noodle with some broth might be a safe bet. Some island fruit blends I think might be good. Yogurt blends, blueberry and whole grains, let's try that. Corn and black bean stuff. Some oatmeal raisin granola. Five days post-op. We are going to a doctor's appointment right now. The doctor just wants to check in on him, see how he's doing. The doctor gave us pictures of his teeth, and I'll show you guys. This is the before. You can see right there, there's a bit of an overbite, the buckle, sort of right there. So this is the before, and this is the after, and if you can see, his teeth are now lined up and touching, so before and after. And this is a front view 
You can see he's got screws right there on each side of his jaw. He's got screws up here, like kind of looks like it's part of his sinuses, but I don't know. Anyway, he's full of full of metal right now. And not like Corey wants to think about this at all, but he said in like six months, if Corey felt like he needed some more like protrusion of his chin, that he can get um, kind of like an implant or whatever to make his chin a little more prominent. But as of right now, that is the last thing Corey wants to think about is having his face cut on some more. Due to the fact that my mouth is wired shut and the amount of swelling, I cannot speak. So it would appear that this is the most effective form of communication for the time being. Just think of me as a less intelligent Stephen Hawking. As you can see, I survived my double jaw surgery. The doctor said that everything went as planned and he is very pleased with the overall results. Here we are five days later and I do not feel any better. My pain has stayed constant and the medications either make me sick to my stomach or they make me fall asleep for an hour or so. All in all I would say that this is the worst experience of my life thus far. But, I was told that this wouldn't be any kind of picnic, so this is close to what I expected. Unfortunately, the medications are making me dumber by the second. I don't recommend going on a six-day bender with narcotic painkillers. Thank God I have Lacey in my life taking such good care of me and keeping this household running. Stay tuned to see how the recovery progression goes. We will do our best to document this in its entirety. Hopefully we can get back to our typical videos in the days to come. Thanks for all of the prayers and well wishes. God bless you all. We'll see you next time. End of day five, post-op. It is 11.45. Everybody else is asleep and I am sitting here working on videos, but I realized I haven't ended the vlog like at all over the last five days. So I figured I better do that because I wanna go to bed. I am starting to get a little slap happy from lack of sleep. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe and check us out on all of our social media. The links are gonna be in the description below. We've got Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Good night, YouTube. Dead man walking. <laughs> 11, feeling a little woozy. Are you? Yep. yep. Boom. Bye-bye. Right. Have a nice day. <laughs> a little overwhelming for me. I'm better now, though. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs>